Okay, let us discuss this problem. This is a quite easy problem. So let me first make the diagram for this problem. And then we will discuss what the question says. So there is a bridge. And this bridge is basically kept on a horizontal surface. This surface is a smooth. That is mu is equals to 0. So this is the horizontal surface and mass of this page is M and the height of this page is capital H base angle is given to you that is the theta and there is a mass a small mass M that is kept over the page so this mass is M now this page can basically move and this mass can also move so this surface is also frictionless mu is equals to zero let me read the question this says a block of mass m is released from the top of the base of mass capital m so this mass this mass is initially at rest and now it is left so this is start going downward find the displacement of base on the horizontal ground so we have to find displacement of base So what is the displacement of base when the block reaches to the bottom? So what will happen? Now the situation is something initially a block is here and after some time block will be here. So what is the displacement of base when the block is at the bottom position? Are you getting? So let me first tell you what will happen initially this base is here. After some time this base will be here. So let me make one diagram. So I think you are able to see this one. After some time what will happen? Uh, basically there is a force that is acting over this bridge. So this mass is basically pressing this one here. So if you see this is pressing this by a normal reaction and this will have a one component in this direction and one component in this direction. Are you getting? So due to this component, so pressing component in x direction so this base will move this side and block is going down so after some time what you will see you will see this has moved this side are you getting and after some time it has reached up to here so let me say if I say the middle uh, let us say the final situation finally it has reached here are you getting or not so you see this base basically has displaced this direction so base had dis basically displaced by some let us say capital X in this direction. This is my positive x axis. This is my positive y axis. So, so displacement of base is x in the right direction. Now you see, since there is no force is acting, so I can say velocity of center of mass is zero are you getting so in horizontal direction there is no external force that is acting only the normal reaction that is internal force so there is no horizontal force that is acting no external force is acting in the x direction so i can say mass into acceleration in the x direction should be zero so mass into acceleration is 0 in the x direction. This says x is 0 in the x direction. In x direction. So acceleration is 0. Now initially the system is in the rest. This means acceleration of center of mass is 0. Now I know initially center of mass in the rest. So initially VCM is 0. So initial velocity is 0. Acceleration is 0. This suggests me velocity will always remain zero so velocity of center of mass velocity of cm will always be zero now if the velocity of center of mass is zero so s is equals to ut plus half at a square u is zero a is zero acceleration of center of mass is zero velocity of center of mass is 0 this means distance traveled by the center of mass is 0 so now I know one good result 
that the distance traveled by the center of mass is zero. This means center of mass center of mass of the system of the system remains at rest remains at rest are you getting so let us say if i have center of mass xcm that is basically m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 x m1 plus m2 so this is m1 plus m2 are you getting if the center of mass remains at rest let us say initially it was at origin so i can say or you can take in terms of delta also so i can say delta xcm this is equals to m1 delta x1 plus m2 delta x2 divided by m1 plus m2 now delta xcm is zero this gives me m1 delta x1 plus m2 delta x2 this is equals to zero are you getting now only thing is we have to find delta x1 and delta x2 so let us say the biggest phase this big base initial it was here it has moved a distance x in this so initial let us say let me make two diagram so this is m so initial it was here after some time this base has basically moved up to here and now this base is here so same length so this has moved at a distance x what is the distance moved by this small mass initial is here now it is here you can see this has moved a distance this with respect to the base this angle is theta this angle is h so this angle distance is it's cot theta opposite is equals to adjacent tan theta and adjacent is equals to opposite cot theta so this is h cot theta are you getting so this means with respect to the base this mass has moved at a distance of in the x direction h cot theta so now i can say a small mass m mass m has covered distance h cot theta and this is in the positive direction h cot theta in this direction and but this is with respect to base and base itself base itself has moved in this direction by a distance of capital x so what is the total distance of mass m so total distance of m a small mass m this will be in this direction it is h cot theta in this direction is capital x so h cot theta minus x in this direction are you getting what is the total distance of capital mass m so this has moved in this direction by a capital x so now i can say m1 into delta x1 m1 into delta x1 is this h cot theta minus x m1 is simply m are you getting m1 x1 m1 delta x1 plus m2 m2 is capital m delta x2 is x but in this direction so i have to put a minus sign this is equals to zero i can write again m into h cot theta minus x is equals to m into x i can take x that side so i will have h m cot theta is equals to a capital x is common m plus m so i will have i think we have copied this one capital x is m h cot theta divided by m plus m so this is the distance are traveled by the base to getting so this is the distance traveled by the base now you see in this problem what are the important point we have the first important point we have that that there is no external force in the x direction 
Since there is no external force in the x direction is acting, we can see acceleration of the center of mass is zero because force is force to external is equal to mass into acceleration of the system ACM. So acceleration of the system is zero. And now I can apply V is equals to U plus AT. Acceleration is zero. Initial velocity is zero. So this means V is zero. This means center of mass will always in the rest. Now if the center mass is always in the rest, this means it does not going to cover any distance. If it does not cover any distance, this means I can say center of mass delta x of center of mass is zero. Are you getting? If it does not cover any distance, I can say delta x of center of mass is zero. Then I can write a formula for m and center of mass x c m is equal to m and x one plus m two x two divided by m and x one plus m m and plus m two. And then if I take delta. Because delta x c m is zero, so this gives me zero is equals to m one delta x one plus m two delta x two. Now one important point we have in this question is to find out delta x one and delta x two. And I said this base moves at a distance x. This is with respect to ground, but this small mass moves at distance h called theta in the x direction with respect to this base, but base has It self moved a distance x in this direction. What is the total distance covered by this mass in this direction? So this is with respect to the base, and base itself has moved in this direction. So h cot theta minus x, that is the total distance covered by the a small mass in this direction. h cot theta minus x, because I have to add the uh, distance covered by the base itself. Now I can apply this formula. M and delta x1, and I will get this result. I think all of you have got this one. This is a pretty easy problem. We'll discuss the next problem.